Cancer does not follow a blueprint. It's scattered, unpredictable, like a collage, every piece telling a story, a pigment, a butterfly wing, a flash of light. Together, these are clues helping engineers piece together a new way to fight back. Engineers like Christina Zavaleta, Lisa Pulikakos, and Dr. Georges Obeyed are piecing together a history of research to create new advancements in the fight against cancer. So have their unorthodox approaches put them on the road to a cure? In 2025, roughly 2 million people will be diagnosed with cancer in the United States. Hello, Circuiteers. Did you know there's a cancer breakthrough that may be hiding in your favorite candy or even in tattoo ink? Christina Zavaleta, Associate Professor of Biomedical Engineering at USC Viterbi, isn't your average engineer. Inspired by the animation of Pixar after taking an animation class, Zavaleta was intrigued by the inks and paints used by animators, which led her to San Francisco, California, and a Bay Area tattoo artist named Adam Skye. Zavaleta brought a 96 well plate, which is a standard tool used in research and diagnostic labs and had Adam squirt tattoo ink into each of the wells. Zavaleta and her team at USC Viterbi attached these FDA approved tattoo dyes and some FDA approved candy dyes like the ones used in Skittles and M&Ms to nanoparticles. The result? Glowing cancer cells. Most cancer scans today rely on tiny dye molecules, but they don't stick around for long. They flash a quick signal then disappear before doctors can get a full picture. Christina Zavaleta's nanoparticles are different. They're engineered to be just the right size, small enough to slip into a tumor, but big enough to stay put. That's sticking power, circuiteers. Engineers call it the enhanced permeability and retention effect. It means doctors have more time and a much clearer view. From the glow of tattoo ink and candy dye to the shimmer of butterfly wings, our next engineer is on the case, leaving cancer with nowhere to hide. Lisa Pulikakos, Associate Professor of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at UC San Diego, along with her team of researchers, are on a quest to make cancer diagnosis faster, more accurate, and more accessible worldwide. And their ally? The Morpho Butterfly. Its wings shimmer, not because of the blue color, but because of microstructures that manipulate light. Pulikakos and her team at UC San Diego have been harnessing those structures to gain some insight into fibrosis, the accumulation of fibrous tissue, which is a key aspect of many diseases, including neurodegenerative disorders, heart disease, and cancer. They realize that by placing a cancer biopsy sample on top of a morpho butterfly wing and viewing it under a standard microscope, they could determine if a tumor structure indicates early or late stage cancer. This is without chemical staining or expensive imaging equipment, just nature's design and some engineering magic. And in parts of the world where cancer screening is rare, this approach could change everything. Butterfly wings can analyze tissue, and now engineers have figured out a way to use light as a trigger, not to see cancer, but to strike it. The science may be early, but the impact could be a knockout. Pow! Dr. Georges Obeyed, assistant professor of bioengineering at the University of Texas at Dallas, along with Dr. Rolf Brecken, PhD and professor of surgery and pharmacology at UT Southwestern Medical Center, they're developing an enhanced light-activated immunotherapy approach that could one day treat patients with stomach cancer that is spread throughout the abdomen. Obeyed and Brecken have designed novel engineered proteins that when injected into a patient's abdomen are designed to bind to cancer cells. Then a small fiber optic light would apply near infrared light to activate the engineered proteins 
cells to block the cancer cells growth and trigger immune cells to destroy the cancer cells, leaving healthy tissue unaffected, reducing side effects. Although this approach hasn't been tested on humans just yet, Obeyed received a $250,000 high impact, high risk research award in collaboration with Dr. Rolf Brecken. Engineers don't just look at cancer, they decode it. In the chaos where some may see confusion, they find patterns. And in those complexities, they find solutions that may have been hiding in plain sight all along. From pigments to wings to light, each discovery is a fragment, but together they form a collage of possibilities. And when fragments come together, the picture might just be a cure. If you enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news. And a special thank you to the Ming-Shei Institute at USC Viterbi for making this episode possible.